Hello friends, welcome to our channel and in this video we'll discuss about how we can create the strike through using conditional formatting. For the example, we have the data which includes the season number, we have the particular task to complete and we have the priority as well we can set according to the requirement like high, medium and the low. And after completing tasks, we simply need to check the mark and then it will create automatically strike through. When we completed the whole task, we simply need to check. We will discuss this type of example in our this video. But before this, you are requested to please like, comment and subscribe to our channel. So let's start our example. We have the data which includes the series number we have the particular tasks, we have the priority column, and we have the last status column. First column that we use here is the priority column to indicate the status or to indicate the level of sensitivity. So we have the three indications. First, we use here the data or we use here the priority status like priority. And here we use three indications. The first one is high. The second one is medium and the third one is low and we will use these indications or mediums here very simple technique first we need to select the whole column we go here in the data tab and in the data tab you can see here the data validation function in the data validation we simply select the list and in the list we need to select the whole three status now you can see here we simply need to give the indication of high low and medium as per your priority this is our first function now our second function is to give the check marks check marks for the check marks we simply go here again in the developer tab and in the developer tab you can see here the insert function in the insert function, you can see here the third one and I simply write here. But before that, we need to erase the text in it. I erase the text and then place it so it will be more presentable. After placing it, I simply need to select the cell and drag it down to get the same type of checkbox without continuously going on the developer option and using the insert function. This is our se second technique. Then the third one, we simply need to connect these checkboxes to the cells. So I go here in the checkbox and in the format control, in the cell link, you need to simply select the cell and connect it. Again, I go here and connect the second cell. You need to do the same technique or you need to insert it manually or you need to connect it manually each cell. And go here and the format and the cell link, we again select the cell. And again, we go here in the format and select the cell. And for the seventh one, I again go here. We need to be very careful while connecting the cells because if you connect the two cells for the one checkbox, it will work according to the connectivity. And this is our last one function or last one step. We have also completed the second task. Now, if I just click here so you can see here the true function. If I uncheck here so you can see the false option. This is how. We have completed the checkbox status as well. Now we need to simply strike through or we simply need to use the conditional formatting to set the strike through. So how we can set? First, we select the whole table. And after selecting the whole table, we go here in the home tab. In the home tab, you can see here the conditional formatting. In the conditional formatting, we need to select the new rule and in the new rule we have certain options. I go here in the last one use of formula and here we need to simply select equals to after 
pressing equals to we need to select the cell equals to true but before that we need to eliminate the dollar symbol we need to only eliminate the second dollar symbol then for the formatting you can format as per your own requirement like for the first one I go here in the font and use the strike through I again use here the italic function and for the color I simply select the light color and then press OK again OK and you can see here the function works accordingly I simply need to use the three functions you can use the priority column if you require as per your need and to make it more presentable what we have to do we have to hide this function and for this function you can also select the whole cell and you can make the font color white now our whole example is ready we simply need to use the priority set and then you can check mark for the task which you have completed in this way we have completed our whole strike through function using the conditional formatting if you face any confusion in this video please write in our comment section thank you